Yeah. When you talk about that severe weather, from Texas up to Michigan, they had over 250 severe weather reports yesterday. Ooh, wow. It was rough. More than eight reported tornadoes. So they could see a little more. It's going to shift a little farther east. For us, it's rain, and some of the new numbers are now coming in. Uh, Kiowa, close to an inch of rain here within the last 24 cool. hours. Brighton, Littleton, over an inch. So wow. some pretty good totals. Good soaking rain. Right now, we're still seeing it. If you head out the door this morning, you're going to want a raincoat, boots, uh, also an umbrella. We'll be under some pretty good cloud cover and some scattered heavy showers through the morning. It's a little spottier by this afternoon. At that point, we're in the low to mid 50s with a few fewer storms, a little sunshine trying to work in, in fact, later today. Uh, more than an inch of rain, though, likely across most of the metro area. In fact, closer to about an inch and a half. We had some reports there in Larimer County of some heavy showers. Heaviest rain is going to fall this morning, and then tomorrow, skies are going to clear. It gets a lot warmer on Friday, so we've got another 12 to about 18 hours of this. Mostly cloudy over City Park. You can see just how gray of a start to the day it is. Plenty of white up in through the mountains, though. It's a first alert action day because we have heavy snow falling in the high country above about nine to 10,000 feet. We're talking a good six to 12 inches locally up to a, about 18 inches in spots. Look at the showers now from Fort Collins all the way south to Colorado Springs. We're seeing some wet roads. It's going to be the heaviest right here across the metro area. In fact, within the past 30 to 45 minutes, you've had some really heavy showers there along C470. And also as we zoom in a little farther north uh, right now closer to Thornton and there along I-25 also up 36 you can see this pocket of heavy rain so that's going to make for some pretty tough travel this morning and Jason's been already showing us how it's slowing things down this will continue through the morning. We'll see heavy showers uh, off the back side of the storm system. You can see that counterclockwise rotation when we set this into motion. That's the low pressure system itself. And as it continues to push east, we'll get some showers off the back side of it, but then some drier air will move in this afternoon. So it's a little more spotty by about three, four o'clock. And the snow will lighten up in the mountains. Most of the alerts that we're seeing up there, uh, those will be until about noon and then they'll cancel out. Highs today in the low to mid 50s. It's to be a cool afternoon, another day of 50s with some gray skies. By 6 to 7, chance for a few more storms and showers. So this is going to stay with us through the evening commute as well. But I think the morning one is where it's going to be the wettest. By early tomorrow morning, after midnight, skies clear out. We'll see 40s, even 50s between 7 and 9 tomorrow. Look at how clear it is. It's like the storm never even came through. Uh, clear skies, sunshine, and a beautiful afternoon. By tomorrow afternoon, we're in the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. Such a nice end to the week. And then heading into the weekend, it does get warmer. Saturday, 77. And then mid-70s and a bit more cloud cover on Sunday. So far today, the only first alert action day on our seven-day. Into the first of next week, we'll have to keep an eye out on Monday and Tuesday. There is going to be a chance for some thunderstorms and potentially with, with temps near 70, Jason, a little more unstable on that threat mm -hmm. for some severe weather. Yeah.